This here, we're going to do a video on a black powder drop tube. Um, what a drop tube is, is a tool we use when reloading uh, metallic black powder cartridges. And I'll explain to you basically how it works or why, what it's used for. Um, you can buy one of these online from Buffalo Arms or something, it's like 45 or 58 dollars. It's made out of hardwood and swivels and that, but uh, I just made this up. And it, depending on how you're loading your black powder cartridges, the first attempt I made, we didn't use the drop tube. Uh, but now that method didn't work, so now I'm going to the drop tube. And basically what it is, is you take the black powder, pour it into this funnel, and it goes down a tube 24 inches long into the case at the base here, okay? And I'll show you how it works in a second. But let's go over, I, I built this myself from some scrap pieces of wood and, and two. So basically what I did is took a two by four. I took a two by four and I cut it 28 inches long. Then I took, I'll take this all apart. Then I went and cut two other sections of the 2x4, you know, the width of the 2x4, 3 and a quarter, 3 and a half inches wide. You can glue and nail them onto the board, and the idea is your tube is 24 inches long. So basically you want to position it to where you have clearance down here and up top and you can move it. So I took the 2 by 4 two little sections, kind of evened it up to get a good thing, and then on the base, I just took a hunk of plywood and nailed it into the base. You can make this wider, redesign it, whatever. Uh, you can get a loading block on here. Then to hold the tube, I went and got, uh, and the tube, talk about the tube. This is, uh, I went with 3 eighths of an inch OD. This is soft copper tubing. You just buy it in a 24 inch length at the hardware store. But you got to remember this is soft so it'll bend easy. And I went and got number 10 by 1 and 3 eighths, they call screw eyes, large zinc. And basically, all it is is an eyelet screw like that and I screwed two of these into the center of the blocks. Then I had this device I scrounged up which is basically for a half inch. You got an Allen set screw in there, half inch diameter so that works fine. And this just screws onto the tube with the Allen and holds it on the eyelets. See, because that would just drop down. You need some kind of adjustment. See? And that's all it is. See, just the hole with a set screw in there. Put that on. Get it back to where I was, about right there. And then this goes through the two eyelets. I use this to regulate my height and keep it in place. And just a simple lead powder funnel on the top. Okay? Now, that's how you build one. It's pretty simple. Now, next thing I'm going to do, we're going to try to get a close-up here, and I'll show you uh, the purpose of it and what it does. Okay, what I have here is I went and took one case and filled it with an amount of black powder. And what I did was just put the powder in the pan at a certain weight and put the funnel on top and just dump it in. And I'm going to use an undersized bullet to show you how what the difference is. So that's just... 60 grains of black powder in a 4570 case. Now we have an empty case. Now I have this set to where 
or was that? I readjust it. I like to lift this up a little, more or less, to get make sure the tube is in the mouth of the case. Oh yeah. Don't want to go too much with it. And you lift it up and get it to where it goes in there. All right, then you just take your powder and you very slowly trickle it into the funnel up top. You know, you just don't dump it out. You kind of just slowly tap this down in there. So you get, and what this does is this settles the powder. And then what I'm going to do is show you by how much. Okay, that's all. But now I'm going to get a close up of the cases and show you how the difference is using the undersized bullets. Okay, this is our case where we just dump the powder in. And we're just going to place an undersized bullet on there and show you where it sits. Now this is the same amount of powder dropped into the same case, same brand case and everything. Uh, 24 inch drop tube. And then we put this bullet in. And if you put them side by side, try to zoom in. Bring these back. Notice the difference uh, in the length of the bullet. What this does is settle the powder down, okay? Without, you know, it's kind of a, I can say it's kind of a form of compression, but not exactly compression. But what it does is it gives you more room in the case, okay, without compressing. And actually, we'll measure it and we'll see what the difference is. And I tried this the other time, it makes a difference. 3 inch 35, 100, makes a difference of about 100, 150 thousands. So by using that, settling it down, you're gaining an eighth of an inch of space. Okay, and in using this method, you get more powder into the case without having to compress uh, that much. It's, it settles it down, kind of takes up more space, and in that way you'd only have to compress this maybe 60, 80 thousandths and get your bullet seated right. So that's what it's how to make a drop tube, real quick one, simple thing to make, and that's the purpose of it. That's the whole idea behind it is to get more powder in a space.